So thank you very much for listening in to this uh, short presentation about ball lock pins. All the ball lock pins can be found in the Witchway Standard Parts Handbook. This is about 900 pages. Um, they're referenced in there. You can also download any PDF or PDF of the sections from the website. And the really useful thing that designers like is that all the CAD files are available for download without any registration. So you can just pop those uh, design pins into your application. Ball lock pins uh, are basically quick acting pins that can be used for location and I've got here a selection of different sizes. Generally they come from about 5mm diameter all the way up to about 20mm diameter and lengths from anything from 10mm, I've got a little short pin here, all the way up to about 100mm. So basically what they are is quick location devices, so I've got a little demonstration here. So. Basically what I've got here is uh, a classic ball lock pin. This is quite a large one. And at the end of the pin, it's got two balls. And what you can see is when we press this knob in at the top, these balls are, are loosened. And basically that means we can then insert it through the part to be located, release the balls, and then that holds that in place. So that's uh, a typical application. There are other pins which are called pull pins which don't have that facility. So for example here, this one here, you just simply pull it out and the balls which are on little sprung loaded devices will retract and off you go. You can see here as well that we've got two pins that are fairly similar but slightly different colour material because there are two main types of different stainless steel and one is a precipitation hardened steel and that is a higher quality version that can take greater shear forces because basically what's these pins can take loads in this direction and this is a load in shear and the precipitation hardened pins are generally about 40 or 50 percent stronger than a standard stainless steel pin. So generally what I'd like to show you is different uh, head styles because that's the main uh, differences that come in lots of different head styles. The most, the, 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 the most popular in the old days was these T-handle pins. Uh, ma mainly they were selected because they've got a nice grip style but as things developed and people developed into plastics uh, we've got these different uh, style here that they could also come in different colours. So this is an orange one. We can come in blue and grey and green. Different ones to suit particular products. Um, or this is very popular. This particular one here, it's got a, a, a recess and stop people getting in the way of the pin that might, might be protruding. Um, quite often it's called a, a marine pin. Um, that's all stainless steel. So you need to decide whether you want some plastic in it or you want it in all stainless as well. On top of all these different options, there are also something called flight pins. Now flight pins are used in aircraft. When you go out to an aircraft and you see the pilot going to inspect the aircraft, he will have some tags on it and they will be uh, located by these flight pins. And these have been approved by the Civil Aviation Authorities for use in flights. And also when the pilot, I'm not quite sure what he says at the end of the day, he asks the, the um, cabin people, cabin crew to go and check the doors when their people are ready for departure and they go cross checked and what they're doing then is they're actually taking out one of these pins and disarming the door so it can't accidentally be triggered and the, the chute be fired accidentally. So these pins, the uh, flight pins are in different styles as well and they'll be more expensive and they'll also be in inch sizes not in metric sizes. Also what is a good feature of uh, ball lock pins is that people generally don't want them lost. So this one here we've got set up with a lanyard. The lanyard is a hole in this particular pin for the lanyard and that lanyard will be attached to something. Um, maybe it will be screwed in this instance here, screwed to a, a part and then that pin won't go walkabout. This is another lanyard for example that can be extended a lot if, if you need uh, extra reach on that. So this is a, uh, an inexpensive plastic lanyard that can be locked around a pin like this and it can be ratcheted up just like one of your standard cable ties. And that is now tightened in place, you trim that and that is all good to go. There are also 
different types of uh, pins, heavy duty types of pins. This pin here is also a lifting pin. And the difference is that this will have four balls on it. And also, because you're going to use it for lifting, it needs to be CE rated. So this will have a CE marking on it. And this can come in uh, steel and also in stainless steel for outdoor use. And it's got a nice red uh, knob on the front so people know what, what they're required to do. This has also so got a CE marking and that can be used as again to lift up the parts there. So I think generally that gives you a brief overview about the ball lock pins. They can be made in a, a huge number of different sizes. Um, if you've got a particular size that is not in our range, then obviously we can help there. This is also quite an interesting pin here. This is like a normal pin, but sometimes you can't, sometimes you've got a hole already made and the hole size isn't a standard multiple, let's say of 80 or 70 or multiples of five or 10 mil. And with this pin, you can actually make it adjustable. So this pin, you can wind this boss down and that's shortening the pin now. And then what you do is you also wind this bit down and so that then will lock it in place. So that means you can have fine adjustment up to about 10 millimeters. And that's sometimes quite useful when you've already got a hole pre-made and you need to adapt a pin to suit. I think that gives you uh, a rough overview of the different types of the many pins that are available on the market and I uh, hope you find that useful. Thank you.